What do you do after catching it? What happens to that emotion? Well, you know, just like anything else, Jay, I mean, it's just like in a golf ball, you get back into a bad habit again, you know? You have to really begin to mentally rehearse. Mm. Like, so you ask yourself at the end of your day, I do this every day, how'd I do? How'd I do today, bro? How'd you do? Did you do good? Where'd you fall from grace? What, what, what was it that caused you to go unconscious f- for the rest of the day? Like, what was that moment? Now, if you're a student of life, you'll begin to contemplate, well, it was that person that said that thing, then I reacted, or this, I got this email, or things didn't go my way, and I started feeling angry or frustrated or fearful. The next time that happens, how could I evolve my experience? Now, you may have to search for some answers of the best model to build, or you may actually have a long contemplation and start to go, God, the next time that happens, I think I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that, or I'm going to plan my behaviors. And the act of closing your eyes and rehearsing what you're going to do begins to install the neurological hardware in your brain to look like you already did it. Now the brain is no longer a record of the past. Now it's a map to the future. And if you keep installing that hardware, the hardware will become a software program, which means you'll just start acting like a happy person. Why? There's no magic there. You installed the circuitry. So that's more important than the news. Right. It's more important than answering any email or any text. It's more important than talking about your past or some dinner. If you can begin to just think about how you're going to do it differently, that's the building process neurologically already. So now you have to get conscious in order to do that. And it takes some time. It means you got to shut your cell phone off. You got to close your door. You got to take a break from everything out there and begin to practice. And so by experience then, you start noticing, oh, here it comes, here comes the frustration, here comes the fear. And now we've given people the tools to be able to self-regulate, to create brain and heart coherence. And so you see people say, excuse me one minute, I just need a minute. It takes some breaths, they get back in, they connect to the energy of their future. This is incidental compared to where they're going. So they don't fall from grace. They don't allow their energy to drop. And so, yeah, in the beginning, it takes a lot because it takes a lot of energy and awareness to stay conscious and not go unconscious but if you're persistent and you're determined and you're sincere you begin to figure it out you begin to say i am not going to give my power away to that person or that circumstance when i can use it to heal or to create a new future and so people then won't excuse themselves and say I had a hard day yesterday, I had a fight with my coworker or my ex, or, and I don't feel like doing the work. Well, that's the time to get back on the horse. Yeah. Because because it's the it's all of those times that we self-correct. Those are the most valuable moments to us. People who have had profoundly transcendental experiences where they we say got lit up, they connected and their brain goes into very, very high coherent states and super gamma patterns that are way outside of normal. And they have a transcendental download or connection that's mystical. They look back at their entire life. They don't want to change one thing in their past because it got them to that moment. That's the moment the past no longer exists. Now, by the same means, they look back at their past and they see all those tough moments where they overcame themselves and they fall in love with that person. They don't look at the good meditations or the things that went well. They look, they know that it was those moments that got them to this moment. And I I think then that's when they begin to understand that, that all of the hard work, all the effort, in who we become makes uh, no one can take that away from us so then once we arrive at that level and we experience whatever the dream is or whatever we create the next thing is is do it until you fully enjoy it and then when it gets boring or predictable let's go again let's do something else yeah and i think that's evolution if you want even more videos just like this one click on the boxes over here And if you want to continue seeing these kinds of stories, you can subscribe by clicking the link right here.